Hey, what's happening? Paul Ingram here, got my man Ollie. Kali Center, we're here in the Black Hills, getting some hiking in, doing some training, bringing some sweet Kali to you. So if you like this location, give us a thumbs up, tell us in the comments below how much you wish you were here training with us. Hit the subscribe button, and uh, we got a cool empty hand technique I wanna show you. Let's get to the training. Tom's gonna pan around, give you a little bit of a view. All right, so let's take a look here. We got Mr. Ollie, right? He's gonna be throwing a jab and a cross. We're gonna work off a combination. And let's take a look at some of these Kali destructions that we hear so much about and that Kali is all like crazy famous of, right? Like you see this in like those Jason Bourne movies and like all those other really cool action-packed movies, right? So from here, as Ollie throws in that, that jab, like, let's work off the jab first. He throws that jab in and then I'm gonna go into what we call split gunting right there or a split entry right he comes in I go bah! so the way that this works is that you don't even really need this this left hand but gunting means scissors and I'm scissoring all the way through looking to destroy this bicep sometimes we could take the nerve here sometimes you could take the bicep sometimes you can even clip the jawline right there and uh, kind of mess them up that way too so if we look at these three variations he comes out I go bam and take the nerve on top there I can go boom and take the nerve right through the bicep or bam and go right into that jawline right into the mandible that's actually my favorite one because like it just rings the bell man a lot of times like like we always talk about how What's the likelihood of someone only throwing one punch? You gotta train off of one punch, so that way you can just work the timing and work the technique off of that one first. So as we're moving around, right? We're just gonna move around. He's gonna throw this thing. So that way I can just work a little bit of timing. Boom, well, maybe I work some of my other ones right there, and then back into that, right? Once we have that, we gotta start working off of some combinations. Just start nice and easy, right? And let's just work off of a jab cross or a one-two. So from here, what happens is, when we take a look at this one, I go out. Sometimes we're in this position when we're stuck on the inside of that rear hand. So I gotta slip this out again from that rear hand as that comes out. And I'm gonna make sure this guides it. And then boom, I'm looking for that bicep right there. Or I might be able to go all the way in, breaking the nose, maybe popping that jaw, causing a knockout, something like that, right? It's gonna be fast, powerful strikes. But we're just covering, trying to protect the jawline, all that as much as we can. So if we come in here, let's go slow motion first on these two. We have one and two. This is the nice way of training it. That's why we train to the bicep. It's a destruction and a limb destruction. That's the nice way. Otherwise we have one and two where we can start popping them right in the jaw, popping them right in the nose. That's my favorite variation. I'd rather just mess up his face. All right, so let's take a look at this. We're just gonna train this off of the bicep because we don't have gloves on and mouthpieces and all that. And plus like, you know, we got a lot of other training we gotta do. I don't wanna mess Ollie up anyway. <laughs> so we're coming out, right? One, two. So one, two, right there. One, two. You gotta watch the terrain. One, two, right? This is why we like coming out training in these type of terrains. Look at the ground. Look at this. You get caught, you get stuck. Even this little thing right here, this stuff can mess you up. So that's why you gotta come out and you gotta train in this stuff and move around. Boom, boom, good environmental awareness. Boom, boom, and boom, right there. All right, let's take a look at a simple follow-up that we can do, because we don't want to just try to rely on a limb destruction being the end-all, be-all of the fight, right? We got to make sure we can follow up to this. This is just a means to an entry. So if we come out, we got one, two, boom, boom. Let's take a look right here. I can come in with the elbows, the knees, give them another elbow right to the back of the ear. That's a powerful shot. Let's take a look at something else. One, two, I might be able to spear in and hack directly to the neck, pinching that carotid artery, which is an instant knockout, or at least a really quick, you know, brown out. And then same thing, knee, bam, going right down to the elbow. So in Kali, we can flow. Boom, boom, wherever you are, boom. We can flow with those follow-ups. One, two, boom, boom. Boom, right there. And of course, as always, if this is a self-defense situation, you can follow up and then get out of there. So come out, one, two, five, boom, boom, and I'm gone.
All right, so play around with it. Let's move around a little bit, get a few different uh, angles on this, and just play around and have some fun. Alright, they got a quick little empty hand using destructions. Remember, once we get that entry in, we have to be able to follow up so we, we can end the threat, take it out, and then we can escape to safety, right? So we're always looking at following that simple strategy. He throws those punches. I'm gonna use some footwork, maybe use a little bit of evasion, some head movement to protect yourself. Look for the destructions, maybe neutralize those weapons, and then you gotta dominate that situation very quickly using your heavy artillery tools. I like using elbows, hacks, knees, sometimes even headbutts when we're only restricted to our empty hand. So give this a go, give it a try, and then uh, we'll see you back here next time. Hang out with us over at colleycenter.com and uh, check out all of our online training, our online courses over there and everything. You're gonna find all types of different training that's gonna fit your needs, all right? We'll see you guys next time. We gotta get hiking. We got some more training that we gotta do. Right, later.